Pull a scratch off ticket, bought two 12 packs and take a gas with it. She swore they were a waste of time, oh, but she was wrong. Hi, I'm Monte, and welcome to the next exciting episode of Coke and Strippers, where you always get the full Monte. And today we're going to build this light to sound kit that's supposed to let you go around and listen to the hum of overhead lights. But we come up with this brilliant idea to test to see whether or not it's possible to send country music by laser. Ooh. This is the kit from a company called Boldport. I don't get anything from them, even free kits. But if you want them one, you could find them online. And since we're doing surface mount today, it's time to heat up the hot air. Step two, build a kit. Where did I get off not marking these things? Or can I just not see them? Time to get out the LCR meter again. Yeah, these surface mount parts are tiny. I could barely even get my probes on it. Yeah, this one definitely says something, but I'll be damned if I know what. I need a 10 ohm resistor, which I don't see. It's probably included in the kit, and a dust moat knocked it off. So, time to go to my little black books. Let's see, what does this one say? This one says, Stupid America, and you can't even see the chips this small. Yeah, that's pretty much right. Hang on. I've got another one here somewhere. Is it? Oh, this looks better. 10 ohm, 10 ohm, 10 ohm, 10 ohm, 10 ohm, 20, 80, 12, 10 ohm. Excellent. We'll put a little solder paste on there and see if we can get this little resistor on there. It's a little too small, but. We'll give it the good old college try. I'm pretty sure none of this technology even existed when I was in college. Well, that looks like a mess, and it is. Where are my tweezers? Fortunately, solder mask and surface tension work wonders here. tip for people who are smarter than I am instead of having to look at all of the pieces every time you need a piece maybe if you looked at them once and then labeled them might be a little better R5 and R6 Beautiful. Let's give him a little hot air. Beautiful. And close enough. I see one. One op amp. Remember, uh, I visited Spark Funds headquarters manufacturing in Colorado a couple of years back and kind of watched their pick and place machines working. Uh, but what I didn't see was how they open these little packages that looks like the hard part well that looks great other than the two solder bridges that's just fantastic trick one is I'm gonna heat this iron remove most of the solder off the tip 
and see if I can wick up the solder. That's looks like it's bridging these two pins over here. Alright, nice and dry. Let's see if I can suck up a little bit of solder there. Oh yeah, that's awesome. And let's go ahead and try this side while I'm here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I love it when a plan comes together. Oh yeah, I almost forgot I've got these. Uh, uh, nope, apparently I don't have them either. Well, that one will go on there. I managed to let them heat up too much and they have already shrunken, shrunken down. Yeah, this will work. That'll set something on fire. Alright. And I have a brand new no name battery from an unspecified supplier. And finally we have this fancy sticker. It's supposed to go on the fancy front. Now I'm going to use these uh, computer, amplified computer speakers. So, power on! get a nice hum and but that's from these fluorescent lights of course since I'm way too paranoid to um, turn that down install any hacked apps on my phone I always keep a burner phone See a nice big peak there at um, 240. I bet that's uh, six times four. I guess it's a 120 hertz. Um, it's hitting twice within each waveform, once on the plus side and once on the negative side. And then. This is the harmonic um, twice that fundamental would be my guess because that's at about 240. Okay, it's all started together. Let's play with it a little bit. Uh, turn it on. It's picking up uh, these overhead fluorescent lights I have. Off, on, off, on. About this. All right, I set the uh, signal generator up right now to 400 hertz, a sine wave, uh, and we're going to run that to this infrared emitter uh, and see what it sounds like. Let's. Uh kill this big light overhead and turn on some sound I hear something oh square wave sine wave as I run the frequency up we can hear getting higher and higher and higher kind of shade some of the other light in the room All right, we can transmit sound by infrared from this emitter to the detector in this Bridgeport Club uh, project box. I wonder what else we could do with it. I know! Ask 
Me! Me! I know, I know, I know! Wait a second, doesn't Mike Tucker know this? Oh, I've got some ideas. <laughs> Alright, I hooked up the signal generator to this uh, laser diode. So now we've got a laser. Let's try it. Oh, that's nice. That's nice sound. Excellent. Just moaning on and on about the time I had. And by Tuesday, you could say that girl was good as gone. Oh, I've got some ideas. <laughs> Take a quick look and see what the output levels are from this uh, Alexa Echo Spot thingy. No, I wasn't talking to you. Sorry, I'm not sure about that. Yeah, me either. All right, I'm taking the output of the Alexa and running it to the scope. I've got one volt. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that might be around uh, 5 volts uh, or 10 volts peak to peak. I might be able to drive um, I might be able to drive that uh, the laser diode straight off of this without an amplifier. Let's give it a try. So this is the output. We're going to connect the ground and the tip to this laser diode. What do we get? nothing 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 all right time for an amplifier oh there we go that's what I'm looking for all right let's solder up a little power I got the power all right we're all soldered up uh, this is a 60 watt amplifier. I'm sure this laser module is what? 50 milliwatt? Something like that. I'm not sure what kind of good idea this is. But we'll start with hitting it with some low uh, input and see if we can not blow it up. Alright, let's give that a try. All right, you see that? Oh yeah. On a scratch off ticket, bought two 12 packs and tank of gas with it. She swore they were a waste of time, all oh, but she was wrong. Alexa, Alexa, play it again. All right, so now we go from the Alexa to the audio amp and over to this infrared LED pointing to uh, the bold port uh, optical to audio out. We'll hit the power on the speakers. Hey, I can almost hear that. Oh, that's good. That, yeah, that's better than the first car stereo I ever owned. Today we proved it is possible to send country music by laser. I hope you had fun. I know I did. If you like this video, share it with a friend. If not, share it with an enemy. And don't forget to spend all your money on coke and strippers. I asked my friend Chris if he thought it was possible to send country music by laser. He said he did it all day, every day. Moron.